the collection that we're showing here is with the idea that these objects have a certain ambiguity. Uh, these have been developed <coughs> with a sense of location in terms of time. Uh, so there's an association to a culture, a history, uh, but also uh, it has the possibility to extend beyond uh, the, the, the location or history or the geography of the place. So the object, what we were interested in was to create a sort of ambiguity or an anonymity in the object and it could be independent of location. So I think that was really the basis of how we worked. And uh, these objects have been conceived through stories or through uh, certain situations in the process of making that uh, uh, we discover. So for example, this particular object is like a boat or a pestle and mortar or um, it's also an op actually an opium cup that my carpenters, their grandfathers would make these beautiful small opium cups. Uh, and it was sort of drawn from, from that object. Uh, when we were making it, it actually had a base and it was quite static and we were sort of stuck at that point. We didn't quite know now what to do. And so one of the things that we talked about is maybe we cut it at a certain point. So we said, why don't we first just take away the base for a moment and then look at it. And that, at that point, there was a discovery of this instability of this object. Um, so we're also looking at this idea of three words, memory, loss, memory. If you string them together, memory, loss, memory, um, where it's this moment where there's a sway in between these three points memory loss memory or the and if you re reverse it back so it keeps moving between because this object for example has every time you move it or you place it uh, it changes its relationship and so it develops over over a period of time you develop an affinity or or, or, a, or a, uh, a relationship that is built over over time uh, also in this, you know, in these, yes, these are sort of, these were actually offcuts of these pegs that we make. Uh, and they have a sort of reference to uh, Angkor Wat or, you know, ruins in, in, a, in a certain sense. Uh, um, so again, it's quite an abstract piece that it, it was just something we discovered and we placed them on, on the board, not by being measured, but just by their relationships. So again, it was not so much, it's a quality of how much space rather than a dimension. Uh, that's actually the basis of how it has been put together. Uh, so again, a lot of these pieces, the idea is that it connects with a sensibility, uh, a motivation uh, in engagement. And that really is what is at the sort of core of these, these pieces. These are pieces of uh, furniture, which uh, they are delicious. Yes, and I like them because they're quite abstract in terms of you know just in the way that they you can engage with them and sort of play with them. Yes. And uh, so. They are so poetic. So. So that's we just thought that you know and and you can also use them and they're very basic and very straightforward and fundamental. But it's the scale change that, that changes your uh, relationship with these objects. And that's what I liked and that's what we thought we'd show these, show these pieces.